Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the Stanley Parable. Now, before we begin, I think it's kind of cool that it tries to emulate the screen over here. Um, so much so that you guys can see my fraps counter in the game. I think. I'm not actually sure if you guys will be able to see that, but that's kind of- that's just kind of really amusing. But, uh, I did actually- I've been meaning to play this for a while. I actually had this game uh, a couple of days before it was released, and I was gonna be like, I was gonna record it, and then I didn't, and now it's been like a good few weeks, and that's my bad. But you know what? That's okay. Let's begin. I don't know anything about like the main story. The only thing I know about Stanley Parable is is the demo that was shown, and that's it. So let's see what ends up happening. The end is never is loading. Wait, the end is never the end. Ah, the end is never the end! But wait, it's not ending. The end is never the end is loading. Never is, never the end is never, the end is never, never the end is never. Boy, we're starting this off proper. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Or was he? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yeah, but before I leave the office, I gotta investigate my room a little bit, you know, get a good idea of who I really am. Okay, so we have pencils, which I guess is kind of weird for a job where I just push buttons. Alright. <laughs> Stanley's prepared for all kinds of things. Maybe... They even wanted him to push buttons with the various different running utilities, but let's get a move on. Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What huh? could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, I mean, I mean, No matter I, how yes. hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I turned someone's monitor off? You can't have wasted electricity, okay? It's just inefficient. God, it's bright outside. Has it always been that way? Huh? There are those more monitors. You know what? Yeah! I'll turn off everybody's computers. Username access? Get, no, turn that off. I don't need to snoop over people's business. 457? Uh, any room that's closed? You can assume they don't need to be messed with. Ooh. What the hell's the meeting room, anyways? I'm not sure. Oh! Sales in this quarter? Aha! Efficiency! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah! Yeah, you know what? The left sounds like a really good idea. I just... I feel like, you know, that's where the meeting room would have to be. Aha! Here we go! Hello? Yet, there was not a single person here either. What? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passively aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. <laughs> Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic on the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Everyone is, is unique. You, most of all. Yeah, I like being unique. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs about things and money. Yes! That sounds awesome. Okay. To do synergy. Oh, synergize. Monetize free to play. <laughs> that sounds like quite a task. Room closet. Oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, I guess there's nothing really in here. That's a bit of a shame. But maybe... There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. But maybe there's something in here that could be useful. I could use a wrench. Become the wrench welder. No. Baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Damn. Why? Is there nothing in here that I could possibly take? I just cannot figure that out. Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please mm. offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Well, 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 hey, look, there's got to be something I could do in here. I mean, the room wouldn't exist unless there was some kind of... You realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, well, well... <laughs> voice in my head. I like the closet. It's to you, unique. This is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't consider this an ending. It's a new Stan beginning. Was fat and ugly and oh, really, really stupid. Hey, hey! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I mean, those are the standard things to be addicted to. That doesn't make me out of the norm. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. No, no. Got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. I just don't want to leave the room. Like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. You know it'd be hard to do that Hello, when I'm anyone dead. Who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. I wear a headset. He has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. It won't Please work. Remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. Seriously. Making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. There's no one so else around. And well, I mean, there are, but no. This game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ah, <sighs> but I'm not really dead. All right. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. But what if there's really something else inside the broom you closet? Too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. All right, let's go to the boss's room. I do want to see what's going on around here. I, I just don't understand what's going up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But what's downstairs? Uh, 
Yeah, let's go down to Ominous red light. You know, I just don't feel like I belong down here. I'm going upstairs. I <laughs> would rather go to the boss's office than any kind of underground ominous area. Oh, see, this is much nicer. What is this? Executive bathroom? Oh, why can't I go into the executive bathroom? I'm sure it'd be really nice and fancy. With great soap. I love soap. Keeps things clean, it smells Standing nice. Standing his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? I'm more concerned that what I can't get to the bathroom so Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two... Eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yeah, he could have known this. So he has to leave instead. There's nobody else around. Or is there? What? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, eight, four, five. Damn. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing two, eight, four, five. <laughs> this isn't working out. I don't know the code. I'm gonna leave. I mean, I could check out the bottom area. Huh. Got, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. What? And the door just opened all by itself. And what the hell just happened? With the story. Well, whoop de do. All right, voice in my head. <laughs> Sometimes I can't hear what you're saying because I just rather not listen to you. But uh, well, why is this here? Why is this not fully constructed? I'm not sure. But there's a big giant red button, so why don't I push it? You know, I didn't really think this through. Why did I do that again? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? I blame this the big red button. would not go unanswered for long. Well, you know, I can't complain. I mean, if I was being paid... To press buttons and being told what to do for buttons, I would gladly do it. Yeah, it'd be boring. Stanley and, walked yeah. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ooh, escape! Ha <laughs> ha! I get to leave! Although Fantastic! The passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. You know, maybe I don't want to escape just yet. I mean, it is pretty crudely course, written on there. Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yeah, let's go to the mind control facility instead. That sounds like a good idea. Uh. Okay. There's a button. And I can't leave the way I came in. Boop. The lights Whoa. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? That's not what I thought. I'm wondering what the hell could someone have for all these TV- Or what use someone could have for all these TVs, but... I guess that'd be a really cool kind of room. Virtual reality? Oh! Ah, that makes sense! Security cameras! Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 
Well, I mean, that's not really all that bad. It's, it's, they're security cameras. They're there to watch you, to make sure you're doing your job. That's not really all too much. That's not too bad. Okay. This it mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? No. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? I don't his think so. Had been manipulated to accept it blindly. I like money. I don't know why this is a problem, narrator. I don't know why you can't comprehend this. No. Huh? He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. I don't really it was mind. Unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? If I'm getting paid for it. truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Seriously, it's not that bad. Ooh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I will do that as soon as I'm done pressing all the buttons. Okay? Something's got to be able to happen. Ooh. It's not doing anything. It's a big giant red power button. It doesn't power anything up. Oh, now this is interesting. There's absolutely no real purpose to this bottom area besides to look ominous. What's over here? Something's at the top of the staircase. Or maybe there's nothing at all. Hey, big giant four button. Four. I'll press it four times because it's four. There you go. Press it four times. It's gotta do something for me. Keep pressing it. You know, this really isn't... It's not really doing anything for me. And I'm not getting paid for it, so I'm not all that content at pressing this button. You know, fuck that button. That button's done nothing for me. Four. Who needs to press the button for? Was that door open the last time I looked at it? Ah, <sighs> this place keeps on opening doors and closing them. It's really actually creeping me out. Ooh. One. Two. I'll press the buttons in order then. Is that a three? That's a five. Ah. Uh, three, 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 three. That's a five. But oh, there's a button back here. Aha! Three. <laughs> you see, you thought you had beaten me, but in reality, now I have figured it out. I must press the buttons in order. Four. Five. Or I do that. Zero, four, two. Except I don't know where zero is, so... Wait, zero, five, two, one. Mmm. I don't know what all these numbers are for. But we just pressed four, so now we'll press five. I don't know if this is the last button or not, but... Why not? I did it! One, two, three, four, five. Um... Let's try something different. Except there's no zero. Or is there? What's behind door number zero? Ah! <laughs> I got ya! If I input the right code, this door opens up! Uh, so if I can find that zero... The possibilities... Could be endless. But I don't know where zero is, so I'm just gonna go to the mind control facility. Why not, right? You really need a big giant ass monitor like this? Can't you just use a small one? Ah well. Mind controls idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, 
to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Uh, let's see what it's like to have power, though. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yeah? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yeah? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Huh. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. That's a really a inefficient and bullshit way! way. Say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, oh, isn't it, Stanley? Oh, God! It's your fuck. time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. Shit! Buns, open! You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Where's the goddamn zero? I'm sure, whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Ah! My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Thank you! These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. This is... This has to... Know these colored ones or maybe this big red button or this door everything anything something here will save me i don't want to die that, stanley that this video game can be beaten one solved do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is <laughs> stanley you're in for quite a disappointment but here's a spoiler for you that timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along it's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. I broke the machine! The clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Everything's broken! No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Fuck it, we're pressing the off button! Desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. I'm turning the fucking machine off, please! I've been laughing at every second of the inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I Ah, shit. Damn it! I tried... Find a way, but the end is never the end. Yeah, the end is never the end. I. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. Perhaps I missed a memo. Right. When Stanley came to right. the room, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure, the employee lounge admiring and... <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. That is actually a pretty Stanley nice room, look at this. here, drinking it all in. Look at it! It's got this nice little lowered area that you can just chill out by the window, you buy yourself a soda, you can be... Get whatever yes. these things are things. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I can appreciate architecture, guy. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 